hello. Some of you, I want to pay attention to, there's a certain sector of the people, um, they can't go no contact. And every single thing on earth that you find about this disorder, every, every, every expert says, go no contact, run, don't walk, go in the other direction, just don't talk to them anymore. And all of that advice is true, and I agree, and if you can, that's the best. That's correct. Every word of it, I learned the hard way. They are correct. However, there is a sector of the population that just can't go no contact. And it's not very often discussed. And um, the black and white advice that you do find, the cut and them off the period, that can work for anyone that can do that. For the times that it's simply impossible, you know, you have business together, you have children together, you have finances connected, you have a, there's just a history of, of entanglement that you have to be in each other's life, okay? You can still do things that can help you gain some control. Because that's essentially what no contract does. It puts you in the driver's seat of having the control on the communication in the relationship. So say, for example, okay, so you can't go no contact, meaning so you can't block them because you have to be able to receive their call because of business, children, finances, etc. In history, I mean, you could have family members in common. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, they she might look after your mother. Like, who knows what it is? So you can't block them. That doesn't mean you can't maintain control of the flow of communication to be in your favor and what you want. Now, this is, to me, the hardest thing to do. I think it's easier to rip the band-aid off and never talk to them again. For these warriors who have to be in contact with their narcissist, I hail so much honor to you because I can't imagine it's easy. Because especially in the beginning, you're in the thick of it and you still like we're in that, you know, I still love him. I have hope phase and you're trying to work out some median way to transition into living healthfully by yourself and now you have to still see him and talk to him and that would be very hard a method that they they cite is called gray rock you gray rock them i'm going to give you just a couple of things that maybe you can do to help pull in the reins and maintain some control i can't help you with your feelings if you're still having those and i like i say hats off to you because i know this is hard <clears throat> pardon me hard gray rock is a method that can be effective one word answers gray rock like a gray rock that just sits there that's what you know plain color plain little item gray rock that's think of that no extraneous nothing extra in chats or talks one word answers you don't ask about them you don't allow them to ask you about your life you know what i mean just the essentials and you know, it's, 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 it's hard because it's very natural to lead a conversation that way. Even when I talk to my ex-husband, it always starts out, hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, I saw my mother, I talked to your mother. And you have a couple of pleasantries that you exchange. It's very natural for any conversation. So it's a habit that we all have and you have to break it with him. You have to consciously not do that and allow yourself to ask. It might have to take, it might take you learning not to. You follow what I'm saying? Because it's very natural. Hey, how's it going? No, 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 no. Gray rock. And they may catch on to your newfound, almost dismissive nature. And they may ask, what's wrong? You don't even need to answer them. And I'm not saying pick a fight, cause a fight. But people do it in conversation all the time. They do it to us constantly. They don't answer our questions. They act like they didn't hear us. They, they gloss over it. They go on to a different subject. You can very easily do all those same things right back to them, and this would be the time. So they ask you, so what's wrong? You could just continue on with the business at hand. Okay, so you'll pick the kids up Tuesday? I asked you what's wrong. Oh, I got to go. We done? 
Okay, see anything else? All right. Click. Yelling out, I gotta go, could mean anything. That could mean you have another call coming in. You're not explaining yourself. You're not giving any information. It could be somebody's at the door. It could be you're cooking on the stove. It could be anything. Had You're getting ready to go out. You're about to leave the house. You don't offer them any of that. But saying, oh, I gotta go. We done? Okay, good. Well, I asked you what's wrong. I gotta go. I gotta go. You have friends that say, I gotta go and hang up quick. You don't stop them and say why. It could be, a, you know what I mean? Something, this is an emergency. Like, you don't do that to people. They say, I gotta go. You let them hang up. You don't owe them anything, flat out. You are not required any longer to give them anything. If you are indeed at the point that you have now parted ways and you can't go no contact, but you're trying to figure out a way to exist. You don't owe them extras. Not a thing. And it's not to be nasty, but my God. I don't share my private life with my ex-husband, and he's one of my best friends. We have each other's families in mind. We have a child together. We care about each other's welfare. We, you know, friendly when we see each other, of course. But I don't tell them details of my private life. That's where they are. They don't deserve, well, would you do? Would you have a date? No, don't let yourself get incensed by little things they may infuse. You've made your decision. You don't owe them a chat and you know that special that dirty john special the one with amanda pete there's a scene where she's lying on the bed and her husband the one with amanda pete not the other one amanda pete is is playing um betty broderick and she's laying on the bed and her husband had her on the phone for about i don't know what makes me think it was a half hour conversation She's laughing. He's being his charming old self. It's in the middle of all the fighting that they had going on. He gave her a little taste of, you know, and he got her to talk and open up. and blah, blah, blah. Gray rock. They don't deserve that side of you right now. Now, you want to one day in the future, you end up on the couch. My parents are all together and they've been divorced since I was four. Everyone's friends. That took time, though. You picture yourself one day maybe being able to have it. That's one thing. But right now, you're not getting on the phone with them and laughing at things. You're not allowing them to ask what you did over the weekend. And you're not asking them what they did over the weekend. Gray rock. Essentials only. Also, I knew a couple that just did email communication. That's what they did. They felt it gave them a record of the communication. It was contentious. They felt each one felt it gave them a record. They felt that it was zero possibility if we're not on the phone with each other. There's zero possibility that there can be an argument, that things could escalate, that things might get ugly. The most you could do is in an email and who feels like typing. And even in an email, you can gray rock. That gray rocking stands. I don't mean a 14-page email begging for explanations and trying to give your side. If you've already made the decision and you're here, you've already done the 14-page email trying to get answers. And You know what I mean? That's not where we are right now. The emails are to be expository, no creative writing. Okay, you get the information, you give the information, and you get out. You could do texting is like today's email, it's quicker, whatever. But again, and that would keep a record of communication too. But don't give them an extra word. No, how you doing? So the kids will see you Tuesday, all set? I asked how you were doing. You could say all is well. That's a general statement that anyone could say to anybody, anywhere. It's unfamiliar. It's just a business-like, all is well. Gotta go. Type it. Gotta go. Use it again. I gotta go. He doesn't know what that means. You could be at a red light. I gotta go. If you get another text later on, I asked how you were doing. I'm feeling like, you know, you're not talking to me. I would think at this point, it has been explained to him, and you've had a conversation at this point, 
that he understands you're trying to move on with your life without him. This isn't something you do. It's not a ghosting thing. They've got to understand that this is what's going to be from now on. Maybe have that conversation. You know what I mean? Look, from now on, this is the way we're going to do it. I really just don't want to have conversations with you and share, you know, details and be on the phone longer than we need to. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you could do to make it a healthy moving forward relationship because if there are children involved, I advocate for that. I had zero problems with my husband raising my child. It, he says the design was mine, but I guess being a divorced child, I did set it up. His parents are still married. So I knew that the only way that I wanted it to go is that we were, and we were always on the same page. But there are people, it's a nasty breakup. One or the other was a narcissist and there are children involved and they still have to communicate. So I guess I, in that tenuous kind of situation, yeah, I might try to explain just once so that there's not a fight every time. You don't want that to happen. Every time there's communication, it's how you doing, you don't answer, they ask you why you don't answer. So I guess, yeah, get it over with, explain yourself, and then move forward. Also, I'm sorry, social media needs to be amputated. And by amputated, I mean amputated. Pew-t-hated. I know some of you Fifi's like to be able to spy. Okay? I don't think I need to tell you how bad of an idea that is. Go be a Fikunaz with somebody else. Stop. And you don't want to have any kind of situation where... Uh, and no contact people cut off social media too, or they're supposed to. You can do that part of no contact. So again, you might not be able to go no contact, but these are all different little things that you can do to at least put you in the realm of no contact and at least cut down on 90% of what they see. They shouldn't know what's going on in your life anymore. You shouldn't know what's going on in theirs. You've got to end something and something that you can't remember no contact how can i put this you've got to end the contact at some point with your narcissist so that you can as closely get to no contact as you can without we're allowing you what we're allowing you but only do that just do the minimum i guess is what i'm trying to say so end as much as you can with your narcissist. As much communication as you can, end it. So you've got to end anything that you possibly can end. And you're just going to be communication essential from here on out. It takes work. Honestly. And a lot of courage. But if we're giving the reality that some of you can't go no contact, that doesn't mean you get to keep open little leaks of insight into their life or little chats that may ensue via, you know, those emails or those texts. Stepping out of gray rock, asking them, how you doing? Boom, they tell you they met someone and now you're upset. No. No, that's just one example. Of how bad it can go. No. It is, you know, anything extending beyond just discussing business or the kids or finances may harm you. It's vital for you to create your own space in your life wherein you can flourish, succeed, fail. Wait for things to happen. Make things happen. Be, be ready with open possibilities for your own stuff, your own life. You have to make space for that. In order to do that, you need to remove them as much as you can. I hope this helps. Because I do feel bad for those of you that can't go no contact. But you can at least employ all of these and keep it to a minimal and just what's necessary.